Have you ever been around the dinner table and heard this? But mum, you bought a house in a city for 50 grand. But I was earning $8,000 a year and the interest rates were 17%. Please, mum. 17%. So before we all start slamming doors or throwing grandma's corned beef across the kitchen table, let's take a look at the data and explore the history of the Australian property market and answer the question, did boomers really have it easier than the rest of us? It's the 1970s and our boomers are now in their 20s and looking to buy their first home. While the average annual income in Australia in the late 1970s varied, the average annual wage for full-time employees was around about $10,000. Time to break it down. Now, if a home in Sydney costs $50,000 and the average income is $10,000, that leaves a home price to income ratio of roughly five to one. Although Sydney prices are on the higher end and you could probably find a cheaper home elsewhere. With the exception of the 90s, that ratio has continued to climb to 10.59 in Sydney. Ooh, that's a lot. With these numbers in mind, we can comfortably say that saving enough money for a deposit was more achievable for boomers, even though typically their households were single income. Yes, they experienced significant inflation and higher interest rates, making it more expensive for products and services and more difficult to save money. But if we were just to stop the noise and ask the simple question, did boomers have it easier when they were saving money for a deposit for a home? Well, for a first home buyer in the 1970s, the answer is yes. 